sign one. It is really great honor for me to speak about triangle theory, which is one of the great research of Lee Professor Park Jiwu. With the help of his simple, intelligent theories and many evidences, he tried to explain the subject in the most logical and systematic manner. The eminent scholar, the scientist and the philosopher, Professor Park Jiwu, worked over many years to carry out the task of developing this precious contribution to the mankind. He expressed most beautifully, clearly showing the sign that the creator of the universe is with the strong intention to help the mankind. Universal wisdom is endless, deep, vast and infinite. And triangular vision helps to understand these universal laws and orders. Triagin philosophy has the great merit of unifying the encyclopedia of all sciences under a unique modern order of triagin. Professor Park Jehu is valued all over the world as a most prominent scholar in the field of medicine and acupuncture. He is also known as the inventor of many scientific and natural therapies, such so, as energy flow therapy, zone energy system, six key theory, eight origin theory, diamond energy system, n particle theory, time acupuncture, feng shui, direction therapy, and many more. But triangle theory is the fundamental base of all his researches, techniques, and therapies. He also developed Swan Tai Chi, Triagin Twist Gymnastic, Smile Yoga, Twist Therapy, and Smile Meditation based on Triagin Theory. The Triagin Theory by Professor Park Jehu is a deep philosophical study of fundamental laws of the real world and zero world. It gave a unified perspective of the zero world and the real world as two sides of a coin. The zero world is the world of nothingness, and this zero world exists together with the real world. Just like the two sides of a coin, the zero world and the real world are closely connected with every existence and dwell at the same time and at the same place. Even a single cell inside the human body is connected with the zero world or heavenly world. The zero world has relation with everything, whether it is physical or metaphysical phenomena. We are able to keep our physical life because the zero world continuously sustains our vital life energy. We have power to think and create because the zero world supplies necessary information. All discoveries are coming in the form of thought or intention is from the zero world. When we die, the human physical body, under the influence of the homo force or shiva force, it gradually gets disintegrated into the particles. And these particles are sent to the zero world, where regenerator shiva rearranges these particles so that it can be used again for this world. Professor Park has given a vision how to approach to the issue of life and death and help the mankind to overcome the fear of the other world. All theories and discoveries came out from Professor Park's unique intention to understand the fundamental laws of the physical and metaphysical world and also to widespread this great understanding to the mankind. Really, the entire work of Professor Park ji can be considered as the most magnificent, most significant, most intelligible, most fruitful attempt to unify all the wisdom of the universe, which is part of his wisdom and his mind. He explored the meaning and the purpose of each existence in this world. By introducing triversion, 
Professor Park's mission is not only to understand our essential oneness with the triogen consciousness, but also he wants us to share this triogen understanding and the real meaning of smile in order to realize a perfect smile world. He, in a state of absolute consciousness, guided this world on the path which leads to absolute perfection, smile perfection. Human consciousness can upgrade its awareness by means of understanding the triage consciousness system and also human being can ascend gradually to grand perfection by means of soul enlightenment because soul is part of him. And this soul is directly in touch with the absolute consciousness of the existing spirit. Fundamental forces are working in the universe. One force, Brahma, produces new things. Another force, Shiva, with two different manifestations, exists as the force of regenerator and the destroyer. The third force, Vishnu, preserves and maintains them. In nature, you can observe. A seed grows up and it becomes a tree. A kid grows up and he becomes a person. Everything in the nature is progressing systematically and everything decays after it reaches the maximum of its progress. All forces exist in everything and everywhere at the same time. In the cycle of season, spring, summer, and finally winter, every day some cell in your body die and some cell take birth. On the other hand, some cells are maintained to help you to live practically. They are all working under some order. Winter is so cold that we would die if the heat does not come back again. After winter, we are back again and with spring season, everything seems to come back to life. Season cycle, day cycle, everything is moving in a rhythm. This is the force of Vishnu, working year after year. The universe, from where we rise and dwell, is connected with some fundamental order. It is governed by three forces of creation, protection and destruction. In Indian mythology, these forces are known as Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesha. Generator, operator, and destructor. These forces arise from one supreme force, one origin, trinity, three entirety, three forces from one origin, tri-origin, and this is how tri blooms. Om, the sound of the universe has three letters, A, U, M. A represents Brahma force, U, Vishnu force, and M is Shiva force. Om is the combination of three powers, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva force. It has spiritual aspect, but more than this, it has more fundamental meaning and significant. Actually, Om is in your being. You are Om in your body, in your organ, in your every cell, Om resides. Not only body, whole nature, whole universe is vibrating with the sound of Om. Without this sound, universe cannot exist. When this sound rhythm is disturbed, disease and suffering will take place. Generator, operator, and destructor. These forces arise from one supreme force, one origin, trinity, three entity. Creation started with our first sound, baby crying, but it was actually the sound our. Baby came out to this world with the sound of our. Baby leaves the womb, spread its arm and legs, open its mouth and windpipe, and makes a resonant sound of cry, as if informing the world of its birth. Baby expands and separates from mother's womb. 
great force of Brahma is involved in this process. Aha sound has tremendous creation power of Brahma. That is why A is powerful mantra and can be used in healing system. After A process, when baby comes out, then with the sound of O, a sense of perfection, achievement and relaxation comes. With the sound of O, the fundamental order of the universe is realized. That is why this Om sound is significant. It can connect us with the supreme higher consciousness. It can activate soul with Om sound. We became out with very pure, natural smile. He expresses smile, which is heavenly smile. This smile state is his smile, original smile. This smile contains all the mighty force of Vishnu force, neutral force, which has power of Brahma, Shiva and zero world. When you say God, it is not just a religious name. It is also with scientific understanding. It has scientific meaning also. God has three letters. G, O, D. G stands for generative power. O is operative power. D is destructive power. This world is expressing these three forces everywhere and in everything. We, for example, can observe not only a force that pulls things and also a power that pushes them away. Besides, we have a neutral force that neither attracts nor expels thing. As there is also an ascending force and a descending one. So there is a power that contains the power present state rather than moving upward or downward. While one type of power moves forward and the other moves backward. And there is the third power that holds thing in place. One power integrates thing and another disintegrates them, and still other just connects all being. While there is a heating power and a cooling one, there is also a force that neither heats things up nor cools them down. A humid power damps things while a dry power, on the other hand, dehydrates them. The third power neither wets nor dries them out. One force pleases our feelings and another hurts them, but the third force makes us free from such feeling, leaving us with smile, harmony and freshness. Brahma power reduces new things. Shiva power destroys or makes them rag. Meanwhile, the third power, Vishnu, purifies or restores them. One power simplifies them. And another power makes them complicated or pushes them into disorder. There, however, also exists the third power that restores the order. These three different types of forces manifest with respective characteristics. And when we observe existing phenomena, we can understand their functioning in real life. The main idea is that all the phenomena and influences we witness either in our lives or in natural surrounding are determined by three fundamental forces. These three forces have strong power, so no other forces can stand against them. They are only present and help each other. And these forces have originated from the zero world, Shiva. When they join with harmony, they demonstrate their power in this world. As a result, everything moves in a system. This world is in fact the triodigital world. There is always some order working behind all existence in the universe. Within the unlimited deep and vast in universe, infinite number of four-armed galaxies are spinning on self-axis. Within every huge arm of galaxy, Infinite, infinite number of solar system is moving 
in an orderly path within every solar system around the sun. All the nine planets and infinite number of meteoroids are self-spreading, rotating around the sun in an orderly path. In every 24 hours, Earth spins on its axis and the moon completes a rotation around the planet, Earth, in an orderly path. Season change in a cyclic pattern. From spring to summer, summer to autumn, autumn to winter, and it is all in a definite pattern. The sun rises every day from the east and sets in the west. This cycle is repeated every day. Then it means there exists some order. Every living or non-living entity takes birth in this world. And then, after completing the life cycle, it returns back somewhere through a process of death. Only a human can give birth to another human being. The dog gives birth to the dog, the bird gives birth to the bird. All species reproduce their own kind. Then it means there is a strong fundamental order behind. Fetal movement inside a mother's womb, lungs breathing movement, menstrual cycle, stomach movements, intestine movement, heart expands and contracts rhythmically and continuously all reflect some order behind. Human being follows a day cycle, starting from rising up and going to work, returning back from work and going off to sleep. Then again, they start new day, reflects of order behind. There is an order behind every phenomena, walking, talking, eating, drinking, listening, thinking, sensing, defecating, urinating. They all reflect some order behind. We breathe in with the expansion of chest and breathe out with the contraction of chest. There is order. All animals and plants go on continuously repeating the sign of life reveals some order. Everything in this universe is perfectly following some order. Behind every creation and behind every function in this real world, there is presence of some unseen scientific order which creates, operates, regulates and harmonizes the existing creation and all functions. When we understand the triological theory to the fullest, it expands our consciousness and provides opportunity for understanding how forces work systematically in this universe. It also helps in self-healing and to discover the connection between the self and the higher consciousness. Entire universe including time, space, particles, atoms, stars, galaxy, solar system, earth, moon, water, fire, soil, rock, air, living creatures, bacteria, animals, plants, fungus and finally human beings. They all exist with some order. From a tiny particle to the whole universe, all existence are being operated by some fundamental order. Triangular consciousness is within every single atom. Every atom has intelligence and it has the consciousness of prime origin. The concept of life going on and on in cycle is because of triangular forces involved in every phenomenon. The end of one cycle marks the beginning of the following cycle. Therefore, we never die, but are continuously linked with the origin. Triadjo explains beautifully that these are the three forces which are present everywhere and in everything in the entire universe and continuously works harmoniously as a unit. That is why this world exists. In Triadjo theory, Specific names are used to explain these fundamental forces. Vishnu preserver as neutral force. Vishnu corresponds to neutral because it preserves that has been born and that is why this world exists. Development, prosperity, preservation, cultivation of Already existing things is because of involvement of neutral force. Lakshmi, the spouse of Vishnu, symbolizes good fortune. 
This is the quality of neutral force, prosperity of soul, mind, body, and life. Brahma, as you know, creation force, hetero force. Homo Shiva, the destroyer, was born as a power to restrain the power of Brahma, the creator. Because of this restraint, we see gradual changes. Everything is progressing gradually and not at high speed. Plants, animals, human beings, seasons, day cycle, all are progressing gradually. This regenerator Shiva produces Homo Shiva as the destroyer, making symmetrical relations and impeding the creation process and eventually returns them to the zero world. Regenerator Shiva, Neuto Shiva as zero world Shiva performs the role of rearranging those things that have already been attracted to the zero world by Homo Shiva. This Neuto Shiva makes them to be reborn in the real world of soul, Brahma and Vishnu force. Along with these two manifestations of Shiva form the triangle model order. When they work in harmony, they are called triangle order. Triangle theory beautifully explains birth of triangle forces where the soul of the zero world has intention to create this world, then zero world cast its shadow as Newton onto the borderline of this world. This shadow is Newton force. This Newton point has was divided into two. One point facing the zero world and the other face to this world point facing the zero world is called zero neuto and the other one is simply neuto which belongs to this world side. Neuto is located between the zero world and this world and stretches its territory to embrace the both worlds. Neuto is the first existence that appear in this world in the form of a shadow. This Newton is real existence despite of its zero nature. And this shadow with potential power of zero world gives special environment to all the forces and all the forces are activated for the creation process. As soon as this Newton opened the gate to the world, to this world, all forces were ready to perform their roles as per their characteristics. Hedro, blessed with changing instinct, jumped out to this world in order to change this world. The state of zero can be compared to the extremely shrunken sea, state of sea and also to the mother's womb from where baby comes out from the state of extreme darkness and contraction. And after coming out expands, similar way, seed sprouts up from the shrunken state and enables Hedro to expand the energy. So Hedro steps out of the zero world and comes into this real world. Hedro wants to change this world, but Homo does not want to change. Homo wants to keep the zero state forever and to stay there, feeling comfortable in the zero world. But Homo had to come out to this world in order to stop its changing activities and take this head group back to the zero world. Homo is intentional force with the intention not to change anything in this world. As a result, head group Homo became a pair to repeat their struggle. The symmetrical world of head group and Homo appeared with conflict and struggle. Hedro trying to change the world and Homo not to change anything in this world. But this is not the intention of the Creator who has spirit to exist. He has spirit to exist. That is why beautiful name for God appears as existence spirit. Existence spirit is perfect in itself. Homo Hedro world with conflict is not his final destination. Therefore, he created the third force, neutral force, which has emerged by integration of neuto, 
Hetero and Hobo. An entirely new force appeared in the mixture of Hetero, Homo, and Neuto. So, in this creation process, starting from Neuto, followed by Hetero and Homo, giving birth to Neutro, and by the harmonious unification of these three, the existence of this world comes into being as a practical entity. This was the moment of the formulation of the great fundamental order, the triangular modern order, and the wonderful moment of perfection and harmony. In this moment, the invisible, practical smile was born. The smile was infiltrated from the existing spirit and flowed to this world. From this smile gate of neutro, everything came into existence. Metaphysical things with hetero big bang, physical things with homo big bang, and life particles came with neutro big bang. As a result, smile came to this world and stays with everything in this world. The smile from the existing spirit is called original smile. A smile has come from zero world. It has no sound and has invisible nature. In this world, behind everything there is a smile. Sun, moon, earth, animal, plant, human being. But human being can express more beautiful. This smile world is just a wonder. The tragic forces are endowed with their unique characteristics and special energies from birth. Nyuto Shiva, a regenerator Shiva, is concerned about Brahma and Homo Shiva so that they perform their duties faithfully. If there is no control, then Brahma might create things disorderly without any goal in mind and thereby impede the development of existence being. And without control of Homo Shiva, the destroyer might return all useful things existence, all useful things to the zero world without hesitating to destroy beauty and harmony. This runs counter to the spirit of existence. Therefore, Nyuto Shiva must prevent such situation as a result. Nyuto Shiva creates Vishnu force. Nyuto, it has zero nature as one body with zero Nyuto. Nyuto is the incarnation of him and works as one unit with other three forces and joints Trajan modern order. Newton is the fundamental existence, contributing to the evolution of this existence world by providing infinite energy and information to Trajan forces through connecting to the zero world, so that, so that Trajan forces could operate this world without shortage of energy and necessary resources and without stopping for their operations. Even a single cell inside the human body is connected with the zero world. The new door has relation with every speck of dust, any remote spot on the earth, all planets of the solar system and their satellites, all stars in the universe and their surrounding. New door is the window to connect this world to the zero world and all energies and, in, and information are delivered to this world through this Nyuto channel. It is because of Nyuto involvement that there is empty space in the universe as well as in the atom. Accordingly, Nyuto covers the entire sphere of both the zero world and the real world. Nyuto is too limited to participate directly in this world activity due to its zero nature. It performs a much more fundamental role than practical participation in the creation of this world. Newton keeps a transcendental position and leaves everything as it is and lets it flow naturally without any artificial invention. Newton does not directly participate in the practical matter of this world, but it is one of the component of tragic model order. In the neutral state, the door to the zero world is opened because neutro already contains neutro within itself. 
Next force, Brahma force, as hetero force has unique qualities. Hetero is based on the infinite world. This is the first force that jumped out of this world through the new gate of zero world. It is fundamental force to bring all existence being to the world. Hetero is great, majestic, lively, cheerful force. Hetero likes bright side and avoids dark sides. It can also create new things. And hetero never allows things to return to the original point as homo walked them. Homo is slow and reluctant to move, but hetero is quick to move. It is vigorous force. Hetero quickly decides something without any thought and moves promptly. Hetero appears suddenly without any notice, but can also disappear quickly. Expansion, separation, increasing numbers is power of Brahma. Hetero brings growth as growth is symbolized by division and multiplication. Separation leads to independence. Hetero avoids touching with other things, while the homo force simplifies things, but hetero diversifies them by increasing their numbers through multiplication. Hetero brings stability into imbalance, pride, self-respect, shining, positive, active, attractive, power are the symbol of hetero. Hetero is always running fast because of great ambition. Hetero stays with mental and metaphysical world. Hetero receives all many qualities from existence world to initiate and create this wonderful smile world. When hetero is guided by neutral force, it becomes so beautiful. Wonderful great force, great Brahma force, great wonderful hetero force. You are the creation bearer thanks to you. You could escape through the zero world with the initiating power to create this world. Next force which appears after hetero is Shiva force or Homo force. When we call Shiva Homo a destroyer, it has significant role in the universe. Homo Shiva performs the role of bringing the unnecessary things together and return them to the zero world under the guidance of Nyutu Shiva. Whenever one's physical body becomes unfit for further evolution in this world, either by disease, old age, or other causes, Homo Shiva at once removes this rotten physical sheep and gives a new healthy, vigorous body for further quick evolution. He wants to take all his children to his eternal smile home. This Shiva force, named as Homo force, has unique qualities. Homo is the reacting force to restrict heteroactivities. For this purpose, Homo came out to this world against its will. If there was no restriction power involved, hetero would enter into the infinite world momentarily as soon as it came into this world. As a result, this world would not exist at all. Viewing from the position of existence spirit, Homo has come out to this world in order to join in creating all the existence of this world. Homo charges every hetero activity and this charging phenomena contributes to form this world. Homo is also fundamental force for this world's existence. Such a contracting power of Homo condenses, condenses the scattered water molecule into the raindrops. It consolidates, unifies, fuses, hardens, condenses, simplifies and combines things. Homo force instinctively bring all existing beings to the original state in the most appropriate way considering the present situation. The heart pumps blood through the body and the blood returns again to the heart. Thanks to Homo force for bestowing peaceful time on all existence. also results in circular and circulating movements. The earth moves around the sun in a circular orbit. The earth returns to the original place after rotating the sun every year. Likewise, the same season appears to us repeatedly. 
It creates circulation and spin phenomena. It creates circulation of planets in solar system. So beautiful home. All living creatures unavoidably face death and finish their lives as part of the turning phenomena. It maintains similarity phenomena among living creatures. As a result, we all have the same body parts and baby carries the genes of their parents. Human being will give birth to human. Shiva force slows down the chain in every existence to limit their changing speed. Baby is growing slowly, time is changing slowly, river is flowing slowly, earth spins slowly, stars move slowly, particles move with limited speed. Light moves in limited speed, sound moves slower than light speed. Thanks to homophores, we can enjoy the beauty of stable mountains and hills. We praise homo in absolute contribution to this world. By assisting new throw, homo is equally participating in the construction and creation of this world. New throw force, as Vishnu force, was born during the unification process of hetero, homo and new throw. This unification or mingling also symbolizes the unification between this world and the zero world. When harmonious creation of all Forces were done, existing spirit of zero world. After confirming that perfect neutral was created, he smiled practically and whole world with smile came into existence after this wonder. His smile implies the celebration of success on the creation of this wonderful world, the gratitude for this achievement the self-respect for this greatness and the glory for the harmonized beauty. Neutro has harmonization instinct and creation instinct for the new harmonized entity. Neutro is a sincere force. Neutro makes tireless efforts to preserve the prosperity of public existence. As the worker acts, Neutro always devotes his efforts tirelessly to participate in his works. The neutral force has spirit of sharing, helping, caring, loving. It has the spirit of justice. Neutral comes out to be a guiding light for human beings and all living creatures on their way forward towards happiness, smile and well-being in the course of their evolution. Neutral force, by its own nature, provides a smile and all sorts of satisfaction. Neutral ought to possess enormous bravery and strength, as well as the spirit of protection and preservation of existence. Neutral force, Vishnu force, has the only potence to cover this world and the zero world and keeps the transcendental nature and existence spirit within itself. This is the force with an infinite variety of capability, instincts and harmonious power. It is a connecting, adjusting and mediating force. Neutral is a friendly force without enmity. It brings practical, productive and successful results in all dimensions of life. Neutral is a guiding force helping to attain the perfect state. Neutral is the force helping to realize the existing spirit. Neutral has higher dimension also by the name operating neutral controlling and operating this whole universe. Sometimes local neutral may be there or may not be there. Operating neutral as existing spirit, operating the whole universe will always be there. Through neutral, new existing spirit joined neutral and became operating neutral. Behind neutral is existing spirit. That is why Neutro has all the instincts and abilities of hetero, homo and neutro, which is helping to operate this world in orderly form. All existence are being managed, controlled and operated by this operating neutro. This is practical world as neutro world contains his greatness, wonder, harmony, beauty and smile. As a result, Two orders appear in the universe, creation order, 
and operation order. From zero world of Muto, first force came into existence as hetero. Homo came as second force, the neutral force appeared with harmony instead. Therefore, all things in this universe are created by this creation model order. Human body is also created in the form of creation model order. Especially hands are well created in the form of creation order. Creation order. O A O A forms creation mantra. Beautiful mantra. Mm -hmm. Ah. work of creation, next order follows. All existence of the universe functions with operational order. He runs all the functions of this universe with this order. That is why he is also called operating neutral. Body was created by creation order and it is functioning by operational order. And this is how functional or operation mantra looks like. Hmm. consciousness system. Further, self is composed of four components, soul, mind, body and life. Soul is neutral, mind is hetero, body is homo and life is neutral. Soul contains all kinds of his consciousness as soul is part of him. Soul is not separable from his consciousness. Soul has all things existing in his territory. Triogen helps to expand our awareness. It takes us towards the universal awareness. After recognizing the existence of triogen, neuto, hetero, homo and neutro, a new awareness reveals that this world is created and operated by the forces and orders of this triogen. And it is realized that this triogen has created wonderful order and it has the intention to continue to manage this world in an orderly and harmonious manner. After understanding that the forces and orders of prior origin are operated in every existence and phenomena of this world, without any exception, their operation, orders and methods can be observed everywhere around the environment including the human body. It is really surprising if you go through all scientific facts which have been well studied and proved as true, including natural phenomena, social phenomena, and scientific phenomena. They are all showing exactly the same order as that of the triage model. Triage model is the fundamental order. It is the first ever evident order in this world. All existence and phenomena in this existing world keep the triage model order. And if this order is not maintained properly, they lose stability of harmony and have to leave this world to go to the zero world. They, in the zero world, they have to be purified by this spiritual tri-origin model for a new start of their existence for this world. Triage of consciousness leads to self-awareness. Triage of consciousness contains 
own consciousness, own consciousness which was created by existing spirit. Trajic consciousness is the absolute consciousness. Awareness of this absolute consciousness is the grand perfection state of the self where his origin smile is persistent. It is heavenly smile. When the self reaches to the level of realization in which self feels constant soul smile, most with origin smile, this grand smile perfection. This awareness, state of original self, where the self can find it, stay in the beautiful world, harmonious world, orderly world, smile world, perfect world, this stage is absolute awareness of the self. Existing spirit smile is the original smile. It's present in absolute state even before the birth of this present world with the determined consciousness to create the perfect harmonious smile world. Existing spirit smile implies the celebration of success on the creation of this wonderful world. The gratitude for this achievement, the glory for the harmonious beauty, this smile is fundamental. Trial to consciousness leads to self-awareness. As his son and daughter, we all have his wondrous mighty power and his original smile. That is why we are not far from grand perfection. It is within us. Time has come to realize our perfection. If the self reaches to the highest level of this realization, then he can always stay in the awareness of his soul smile. And in the constant awareness, in the state of soul smile, the self can see himself performing his role in this universal drama. As soon as our triage consciousness is upgraded, the self receives new role in the life and all levels of the self-life are upgraded simultaneously. Previous suffering are finished at the upgrade moment of transient consciousness and also can see this world as harmonious world, orderly world, smile world, perfect world. Great transformation happens in this stage of absolute awareness of the self. Life changes and new dimension opens to the realization of purpose of life. Our life purpose becomes so clear and we feel one state with him together with him. Our gratitude to Professor Bahak Jehu by introducing Trajan theory to this world. Great Professor Bahak Jehu has given the most precious gift to the mankind. Smile thanks to Professor Bahak Jehu for bringing us gently to his deeper knowledge which, is, which he received directly from him. We are learners trying to understand more and more. Study religion is itself bliss and smile. Trilogic consciousness is helping us to look at ourselves in relation to this universe, in relation to the infinite power, in relation to absolute joy, and in relation to origin smile. Thank you.